Today we're going to show you one of the best man being routes in Madden. It is the angle route. This is in the New England Patriots playbook. We're going to be taking a look at the play curl flat and halfback angle. Now, if you're watching this video, I did release a full trips tight end offensive ebook. And we actually go over not only the curl flat, but a lot of other plays in it. If you want to get that full ebook, join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks. We've got 12 Madden 24 offensive and defensive ebooks in there. And we're dropping two more today. And the Patreon members get access to all of the updates as well as the new ebooks that we drop as well. So by being a Patreon member, you pretty much get an all access pass to everything. Okay. So let's talk about the angle route. And specifically, Franco Harris, we could put him on a running back at Prince Texas route. But I think this is one of the best ways to beat man right now in the game. You just throw this when he cuts inside, and oftentimes he's going to beat man coverage. Now you see right there that that specific angle route is a little bit more uh, longer developing. It doesn't cut as sharp. But if I audible to this play halfback angle, they're going to see that that specific angle route uh, is going to cut significantly sharper than the first angle route that we showed you, okay? And so we're really talking today about how there's different angle routes in the game and what the best one is for beating man. As you see this way, he's able to pretty much roast man coverage over the middle of the field. Now, another really cool part about this concept is if you look at this Mike Blitz Zero, this is kind of the stock Mike Blitz Zero, this is another really cool part about the angle route is at the snap of the ball, if they blitz you, you can quick throw this and it can almost be like a wheel route as you can see right there. So there's another little kind of caveat to this play that makes it really, really effective. So obviously they're gonna to have to adjust, they're gonna to have to do some things to stop this angle route. And the big thing about the angle route is we're really gonna practically speaking, utilize it more like a slant route. So uh, the slant post concept to me is one of the best ways to beat man coverage every single year. And it is where you have a slant from one side and a post from another side. Now you could make that that could be a drag and a post. That could be a drag and an in. That could be a crosser and a slant, right? You can kind of vary it, but the core concept is still the same. Now, if I take the running back apprentice route and I put him on a Texas route, you're going to see here that with the running back apprentice ability, it is going to make this a very sharp cutting, man beating uh, Texas pattern. It is the best Texas route in the game, in my opinion. And you can now do this from literally whatever formation you want, as long as you have this backfield uh, apprentice or running back apprentice ability. So as you can see right there, we're able to beat man coverage when it comes from that middle uh, linebacker and they're offline. If they're on the line of scrimmage, it should be a little easier to beat man coverage. And you'll see that right here. He's going to cut. He's going to cook this guy. We can free form it up and inside, and he's going to have a nice way to beat man coverage. Now, the really big benefit to this, and this is what I'm kind of proposing in this video, that I think is going to make this a really, really good uh, concept for the entirety of the year, is using this concept as we would a slant post concept. So, example here, one of the best concepts from Trips Tight End every single year is this slant post concept, and we would have a tight end apprentice post. We don't have tight end apprentice yet, but when we get tight end apprentice, this is going to be one of the best ways to beat man coverage, okay? However... What if we just use the angle route and instead we went back to the play curl flat and we have that nice post there and then essentially set up the, the quote unquote slant post concept. We just set it up in a different direction. So what do I mean by all that? Well, we can motion this guy across. He can be our clear out route. We can have the tight end on a quick out and then we can have a C route on the back side. What this does is it gives us a lot of different ways to beat man coverage on this play. And I think it's one of the best man beaters in the game right now. You've got your quick throw tight end out route, which is really good, especially if the safety is the person that is in man coverage on the tight end. So you have that, uh, that read going for you. You also here have this outside of print a C route, which we didn't, we don't want to spend a ton of time talking about this route today, but just, just for the video, I do want to show you it. So let's say they drop some hard flash, trying to take away the quick game. We could potentially hit the C route, uh, which is really good again this year. You just got to be able to make the throw. But as you can see, he beats him to the sideline. So um, the outside of print of C route is still a good way to potentially attack man-to-man -man coverage. And so that's going to force some different series of adjustments. And then the real beauty of this whole entire play is this angle route and this post route over the middle that are creating a really nice slant post concept that will beat man coverage. I don't know why Aaron Rodgers cannot make a throw in practice mode. In game, he makes all the throws for me. But, man, the second we get in practice mode, it's like, what is this dude doing? I don't know if I if I messed up his abilities or what. But 
Anyway, doing simple things like this I think is really effective. And then you got your angle route, so please take your angle route. I think it's the most consistent way to attack man coverage in this game. These routes will run significantly better on uh, the actual head-to-head -head mode. I think it's because of the game mode. But anyways, um, this is one of the better ways uh, to beat man coverage in the game right now, utilizing the angle route as a makeshift slant route and then having a, a sharp cutting post or crosser coming over the top of it and then kind of building out the route combo from there. We teach you how to do all of that stuff in the Patreon. If you want to get my entire trips tied in offensive ebook, head down to the description and go click the link down below.